I haven't seen this for two years, maybe longer. Oh, we did put the tail on, didn't we, when we pulled it yeah, out last time? Yeah, no, not the, not the horizontal tail, just the vertical. Because so, okay. it's been too hard to get to. Yeah. I just had, I've had it stuck in the back corner of the shed, so. I don't know, I polished that quite a few years ago, and um, not bad. I know I don't have to have all this stuff on, but seeing as it's out, we're going to go go all out and put it all together as best we can to make it look like a Frankenstein. Look at all of that room. So much space. There's just one thing missing. There it is. Thank you, darling, for letting me use the back patio for a bit. <laughs> it's just, I know, it's it, the minutes are counting. <laughs> just got to pack some of this stuff away now, but after I clean this little bit out. So um, the reason why it's out here is hopefully this week we can run it. Dad's coming down tomorrow and we can time the mags and get it, see if it actually runs. I'm a little bit nervous, but this is cool. What are you doing, Dawn? Just tying my tail down so it doesn't fall over while I'm working on the front. Yeah, but what are you tying it to? Well, this is an old Huey rotor head. I figured that would be enough to keep that. A bit of weight in that. Even retired bits still have a use. It's been an age since I've timed mags on one of these things. So it'll be a lot to learn this week. 
but we'll get there. We'll get the prop on, uh, get some fuel into it, and uh, see what leaks, and get it running. That's the goal this week, is to make it run. So, um, that'll be fun, hey?